Hello everybody, this is RBR Short Films 13, aka Ryan, and today I am doing a video, basically a reaction video to Zack Schneider's Justice League official trailer 2021. Uh, the full official trailer, um, the movie's coming out next month, I'm really really excited. Uh, it's going to be on HBO Max, hopefully it'll be in the theater as well. The reason why I'm excited for this is because I never saw the original Justice League um, version. The original cut that came out in 2017. The original cut that came out in 2017. I didn't see that. The trailers looked really bad. The reviews were really bad. Um, people didn't say really anything good about it. So I just passed on that film. but. I said that I will watch Justice League if, in fact, Zack Schneider comes back and completes his version of the film. The version that we were supposed to see, you know, in that year. Um, and, and, in fact, he was making two Justice League movies as well. It was actually going to be a two-parter kind of thing. So um, now it's just this one long movie, but I'm really looking forward to it. I know there was rumors for a while that this was going to be like a series, like a, like episodes, like a like a mini mini series, um, which that would have been pretty cool because uh, it would have been longer. But I, I hear this is going to be a really long movie, so I don't think that really matters. So here I go doing my review of the trailer. I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, here we go. <laughs> All right, so. Three, two, one, play. So it starts with Superman. The bells been rung. I'm in the dark. Looks like the end of Dawn of Justice. God is dead. I had a dream. Almost like a premonition. I think there's an attack coming. My lord, this world will fall. I need warriors. I'm building an alliance defend ourselves. How do you know your team's strong enough? If you can't bring down the charging bull, then don't wave the red cape at it. You were sent here for a reason. His dad. And even if it takes you the rest of your life, find out what that reason, reason is. is. Yep. Said the age of heroes would never come again. It will. It has to. We live in a society where honor is a distant memory. Isn't that right? Batman. Wow. That was good. That was really good. Well, I mean, you know, it it, it showed what it needed to show. You know, it, I don't want to see everything, you know, in the trailer. Um, uh, that pretty much was enough for me to watch the movie. And um, that was amazing. That was a really good trailer, and that was the first time I've seen first time I've seen Jared Leto's Joker act like the real Joker, and actually he actually looks like the real Joker. 
he actually looks like the Joker. He's got these tattoos and stuff. So this was like really cool. Uh, that actually was a really good. Uh, that was interesting. You know why? Because we, the way Batman looks in that scene at the end of the trailer is a scene that we got in Dawn of Justice, which actually was a dream sequence when Superman takes off Batman's uh, mask. He's dressed in that same way, and it looks like that same environment, that location. So I wonder if, if he had a dream in that area in Dawn of Justice, if it connects to the Joker. I mean, I mean, this is a... Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Wow. Oh, Zack Schneider, thank you for coming back and fixing this movie. Uh, now I will actually sit down and watch this film and give it a chance. Uh, this was my most anticipated movie my entire life. I said if they make a Justice League movie, that'll be my most anticipated film. And here we, here we are. I didn't know I was going to be disappointed in 2017, you know, with the reviews and what people said. I just couldn't even go. I couldn't see it myself. Just just hearing all that negative criticism about it. I, I That's all I needed to know. Um, and also knowing that Zack Schneider was no longer, you know, involved. I, I was like, well, no wonder. Because I thought he did a really good job with Donna Justice. I didn't think he did a terrific job with Donna Justice, but he did a good job. Um and he like set up you know like where this was gonna go so it's really cool to see like i guess his con conclusion to donna justice with justice league um and i don't think this is the end of these characters um but uh yeah this uh this was really great um really good trailer and uh that was that was cool so i hope you guys enjoyed my video uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, one more month, guys, and uh, Justice League, the Snyder Cut, is here. So, very exciting. Uh, and, of course, this video is only for people that love DC and Batman and, you know, those characters. You know, this isn't for, like, the Marvel fans that don't like DC at all. Because there's some people that like Marvel, there's some people that like DC, and then there's some people that like both. And I like both. I love both. I love Marvel and DC. Like, I love both. I, there's characters in those worlds, both of those worlds that I like and don't like. So, um, yeah. And, you know, eventually we're going to get a what if movie, you know, in the, in the next 10 years of like a crossover with DC and Marvel. And it's going to be like a, you know, multi dimension universe thing, you know, and uh, what if kind of stuff. And they'll have Hulk fight Superman and. You know, we'll see all that in the future. Um, but, uh, yeah, I enjoy both universes, and uh, this is very exciting. Just as, This looks very promising. This cut of the movie looks very promising. And it looks like the cut of the film that we should have gotten in 2017. So I'm very much looking forward to it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you all very soon. All right, peace.